Hey guys, it's Sushix here, and welcome back to Pixmon Season 3, this is episode 25! And it's time to do some Pixmon stuff, because we have not been doing many Pixmon stuffs in the late, uh, because, you know, last episode we did all of this, and I don't even know what we did the previous episodes, but I want to start training a bunch of our new Pokemon, a bunch of the Pokemon we have not yet trained, and stuff like that. Um, and we also have, I've decided, because it's been, uh, it's been a little bit of a break, um, and I'll explain why in a second, from Pixmon, so we're going to be doing three, three new statues today! Uh, and then we have ourselves a nickname, and we do have a new patron to add as an NPC. So we're gonna get going on everything real quick, and we're gonna blast through all of that, and, uh, get going on this episode here. So, I'm gonna, as always, I like to start the episode by adding in a new fan statue. So, today's first fan statue is going to be, that's my drum roll, by the way. Uh, shout out to Gamer Alex, uh, what's number? 45. Oh, no, wrong, 4, 5, 6, 45. Come on, yeah, there we go. Shout out to you, thank you uh, for commenting down below, and you are our first uh, fan uh, statue, and I will uh, I will get you some colors soon. Oh, wait, yeah, no, I prepared for this, don't worry, I'll get you some colors soon. Uh, and my signs were all down there, so I should probably have gotten that before I even started the episode. Um, but yeah, welcome back to Pixelmon, guys. Now, let me explain where the episodes have been. Why has there no been no Pixelmon for like a week? Um, so pretty much, uh, the, the videos that came out after... Uh, Pixelmon were like pre-recorded stuff. Uh, that's stuff I did with Zuljin and then what I did with, um, with Slip. And, oh wait, just let me go my signs. I have all this cactus here that I went and go col went and collected. Got all of this, got all of this. So I'm gonna put the cactus in there. Oh, we need like coal or something. I'm just gonna get some wood. Whatever. Um, so yeah. So after I recorded last Pixelmon episode, I got to, well, it was my birthday. It was on my birthday on Tuesday, February 10th. And I uh, turned 18, so you know, I went out and did some stuff, wasn't gonna really re planning on recording anything on that day, because I had my own plans, and stuff like that. Then after that I got sick, uh, I got a cold, and that lasted for a few days, and, uh, and then yesterday was Valentine's Day, and I was out all day for that. The day before, wait, what did I do? Friday I went out with my dad for my birthday, it was just like a late going out for my birthday sort of thing. So yeah, I was, there was just like a lot of stuff happening like all at once, uh, because of my birthday and me getting sick. So I was unable to, uh, record just like pretty much every day. Uh, but now we're back and I do want to start making Pixelmon a lot more regular than it has been. It initially started, oh wait, that's, I kept, I was forgetting what I was doing. Uh, it started off as a series, oh god, no, that's not where you go. Uh, as a series that, uh, was like daily. And then it went to like not so daily because I couldn't commit to that anymore. And then it went to like once every like four days. And I want to bring it back to a like once every like two days. I want to I want to bring it back, especially because I'm doing a bunch of different series now. Um, here stands uh, gamer Alex 45, and then put that thing there. Uh, so yeah, I want to I want to bring it back to like just more regular because we've got a lot more stuff going on I got a lot more uh, let's be indies being planned because I have so many games ready for me to like record And I just I need to get around to recording them and then I need to be able to space out my videos So it's not just like I definitely need to have uh, Pixamon like in a much larger ratio than any other things I put out just because that's what my channel is based on And if I don't do that, then I can see my channel starting to fall apart um, so my channel is kind of reliant on on Pixelmon, uh, which is good and bad uh, It's good because it means I have a steady series that I can rely on and that I know that everyone loves It's bad because if I start to stray from that or as a creative kind of person if I start to want to do other projects and do other things it might uh, See my channel like fall and I don't want to do that because I want this channel to grow into something I may be able to look to doing you know as a career in the future um Anyway, so that's 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 that, and uh, yeah, so I want to continue doing Pixelmon, maybe a little bit more regular than I have been doing. Anyway, that's our first statue, Game Alex. I'm gonna do another statue in a sec, uh, well, not in a second, but later on in the episode, and then I'll do one at the end of the episode. Uh, but before we get going, we want to put in our new NPC. Uh, so new NPC, congratulations to our second patron. Uh, his name is Taylor Carey, and his username is uh, Tall Thang. And uh, it's I'm pretty sure I put the skin in here already. I got it all prepared because I'm pretty cool like that. Tall thing. There we go. Ba uh, get out. And I, he, he, Tall thing or uh, Taylor, if you want to tell me what you want your uh, NPC to say when you like click on the NPC, let me know via Twitter or uh, Patreon or whatever, and uh, I shall change it. I don't think there's anything else that I have to change. I believe. Oh, why does that go all like weird? Anyway, and I uh, will get out of that. So there's. Oh wait, no, no, no. There was one, one more thing. Um, I, there's something I added to our last donator, our uh, last uh, patron, which was Ryan Romo. Now, where is the little slippery bastard? Um, he's wandering. Ah! Ah, I keep falling in this fountain. Okay, come on. Eh, eh. 
All right, where, 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 where is he? This is his normal spawn spot. So if we stay here, he'll chill. You know what? Actually, I can just go like this. And Ryan Romo, edit. Okay, so he's just got one dollar supporter there. So oh, he's back. Okay. So what we do is we go Tall Thang, and we go because Tall Thang was a five dollar supporter, and uh, we change it to factions five dollar supporter. I already got that there. So there we go. And uh, how cool is that? So you guys are color coded. By, uh, by like, I don't know, they're like ranks or something, I don't know, I just thought it'd be cool. Anyway, so we're gonna move on with the episode now. Um, as, is, as I said, oh, you know what, we're gonna do the cool jump off the cliff, because I like doing that. Uh, we're gonna be training a bunch of Pokemon that we have, and, like, really give them much attention, or whatnot. Um, I feel like we just need to kind of get into new stuff, because we've been doing a lot of, like, starter, uh, training. Now, what is going on here? Oh, the whole thing's, like, s crashed. What's happening? All the Pokemon are frozen. No, I can see some Pokemon moving, but some Pokemon aren't. Let me leave the server and we'll come back. I mean, it's not really a server, it's just... Is it the, uh, let me leave the internal server and we'll restart the internal server. Alright, there we go. Uh, don't know what that was about. Let's uh, go back into the PC. So we'll put, uh, we'll put Alpha here. Is that an Ivy? Uh, Ivy Soul go there. Uh, I want to keep our Graveler, and I do have plans to evolve it and make our house in the same episode. Uh, but that'll be down the track. So we don't have a house yet. I'm not going to be building the house yet. Uh, but I do have a very special big episode for that. So stay tuned. Um, I do want to keep Salamander because I like Salamander. And Rico, obviously, because it's our strongest. Uh, Grottle we can throw away. And Feraligator we can throw away for now. Um... We could make this the Eevee episode. Now, I didn't I didn't know 100% whether we should just be straight up evolving all the Eevees, but it actually makes sense that we do evolve all the Eevees. Um, I don't know. Let's see. So, I want to start off with the basic Eevee. So, we got uh, Kinetic, which is our uh, Jolteon Flareon. And where's our Vaporeon? Did I move our Vaporeon? Oh, no, wait. I don't think I got a Vaporeon yet. No, Ariel was our Vaporeon. All right. So, uh, yeah. So, wait. And we have the necessary stones for them, I believe, at our old house. So we might go grab those. You know what? Yeah, let's just go evolve all three of them. And we'll deal with whatever group all selected. I don't even know how I did that. Don't even know what that is. Uh, we'll go back to our old home. And uh, we'll run inside, grab some stones. And we're going to be doing all these Eevee evolutions today and training some of our Eevees. This is actually going to be a pretty cool episode. Um, what do we got? So, uh, there we go. Jolteon. Uh, no, not Leafeon. Uh, Flareon and Vaporeon. Do we not have a Water Stone? What? We have Water Stone Shards. I thought we had easily a water stone. What are you talking about? <gasps> really? Uh, Moonstone, leaf stone. Uh, uh, okay. Well, I, uh, I, I, I kind of assumed we had one, a water stone. Um, nope. All right. Let's go looking for water stone shards then. So we have two. We need, uh, we need seven more. That should not be too difficult. And then I want to evolve all three of them together. That's why I'm not. That's why I'm waiting until we get this water stone. So, uh, we we'll get this water stone shot here. Eh, 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 eh. Man and them shots. Um, yeah, so the water stone shots are pretty easy to find. Like, getting any sort of evolution stones are pretty easy. Uh, leaf stone shards are, like, all over the place. Um, water stone shards, you just look at the bottom of an ocean, they're so easy to find. Um, there's another one there. Uh, what else is there? Uh, yeah, so, uh, what is it? Uh, electric stone, no, it's not electric stone, it's thunderstone shards. Um, they're really easy to find if you go to, like, cliff faces and stuff. I mean, look at that, there's one over there. And, uh, yeah, they're all actually pretty simple to find. Firestone shards, if you just go deep down, go towards lava and stuff, you'll find them there. Um, dusk stone is probably a little bit harder to find. Uh, but not many Pokemon require a dusk stone. Uh, and, yeah, so, anyway, so we're gonna... Should we evolve all of the EBs? I feel like we should, because they're not gonna learn the stab moves that they need until they evolve. I mean, that's the, the main reason you level up and then you evolve a normal Pokemon is because they normally learn all the good moves before they evolve. And then once they evolve, they kind of don't have many moves they can learn. But with Eevees, like, a normal Eevee is not going to learn a fire move like a Flareon will. So, I think we are going to need to just evolve every single Eevee, which is actually going to be pretty cool. Uh, so, how many Water Stone Shards do we have after this? Uh, we have seven, so we need two more. Don't drown, 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 don't drown. Okay. Uh, is that another one over there? Is that clay? I think it's... Oh, no, is it... Is it... No, what? What is that? Is that a shot? I think it's a shot. Alright. Is it a shot or is it clay? I can't really tell. It was clay. 
Ah, well, clay is always useful. All right, let's come on. Sun is setting. We only need two more shards. Um. Oh, why are you giving me nothing now? You're giving me a bunch before and nothing now. Eh. Uh, is there an ocean nearby or something? There's more rivers over there. We can go to those. Um. All right. Oh, there's a cave down here. Oh, I want to go see what this is like. This is actually pretty cool. Oh. Oh, um, let me see if I can, uh, do I have any blocks here? Yeah, we have some wood. Let's see if I can, like, I don't know. Like, I want to, I want to kind of, like, block it up, you know? Just so it can be, like, really cool, you know? And then we have, like, we have, like, steps here so then we can, like, easily, like, get out. Um, okay, so we're going to go down here. We're going to see what's, see what's going on. Get some aluminium. I mean, we might be able to find a fossil. We definitely need to do some fossils soon. Oh, have I completely forgotten about the fossils? I should start a list. Of all the different things I can do in Pixelmon episodes, because I always forget. You know, I always think of things and I'm like, ah, we'll do it next episode, and then I kind of forget, and uh, you know, that's that's not good. So, um, water is over this way, so we're gonna go. You know what? Let's grab uh, let's grab Salamander, and uh, and he'll he'll uh, he'll fly us to where we need to go. Hello, Hoot Hoot, how you doing? Oh, I really want that shiny uh, golem. It's, it's soon, guys. It's soon. It's something I'm preparing with other people. It'll be a collaboration episode, obviously, because I have to... God damn, you can't jump on him when he's uh, in the water. Yeah, it'll have to be a collaboration episode, because I need to trade with someone to get the golem. Um, but then I want to do something more with it, because I was thinking, like, oh, you know, I bring someone into the episode, and um, and they help me, you know, trade it, and then it's like kind of like, then what? Like, do they just leave the episode? Or do they just kind of wander around with me for the rest of the episode? And if they do, they kind of like got this really weak, like level five starter Pokemon. They can't really do much in like the 20 minutes the episode goes for and all of this stuff. So I'm like, I was thinking like, what am I going to do? And I have a perfect idea, but I'm not going to tell you guys what it is because I want it to be a big surprise because I'm really excited. So there may be one or even two different YouTubers joining us. Uh, maybe even three different YouTubers joining us for an upcoming episode. Uh, we'll see what happens. Why is there no Waterstone Shards? I need them. I need two more. You gave me a bunch and then you give me none. This is not fun times. Alright, what about if I go to ice and then there's water near the ice biome, right? Hey! Hey, what are you doing? Okay, there we go. Uh, water. Oh, oh, oh. Freeze McGee. Come on. Stop freezing. Hey, come on. Oh, oh. Okay, there we go. He's fine now, but that's... Uh... No, I don't like this biome anyway. Oh, what? Stop selecting the group, whatever thing you're talking about. Okay, let's go home. Old home. And there's water here. And is there any shards? Why are these shards so difficult to find? I just want to evolve my Pokemon. What's happening? Uh, okay, wait. Wasn't there an ocean biome near here? There was. Wait, is there a shard? Shards? No? Uh, the ocean biome where we got the Suicune to spawn. It just didn't, uh... You know, it just kind of, uh, didn't want to get caught in that episode is what I feel. Uh, speaking of which, we might need to wanna, like, might need to wanna sort of, why aren't you jumping? Um, get some more balls, just in case we do run into another legendary. Cause we kind of don't wanna miss out on catching two legendaries in the same series, cause that's kinda painful. That happened in season two, I believe. Oh, we missed out on catching a Kyogre twice. So, yeah, we wanna, we wanna catch whatever comes our way. Now, I'm actually scared going to an ocean biome, cause it is nighttime. I don't want a Kyogre to, s to spawn because we might not have enough balls to catch it now. Oh, okay, I see a couple of them. They're they're all the way down there though. It's just, it's just a little annoying. Okay, there's one over here. Let's go get this one. So there's one there and then one over there and then we can evolve three uh three Eevees. And then the other Eevees, oh, I mean, wait, yeah, no. The other Eevees need to be evolved. I mean, we can get Leafy on done probably. That's just leveling them up next to uh next to one of those big leafy rocks. Then the other ones, like, you have to get their happiness up and everything, and then it's the time of day that they level up, and stuff like that, and now we're drowning, and it's fun times, and all this stuff, and I'm losing a bunch of health, Then can you just not die, please? Come on, that's very close, holy crap. Do I have any torches on me? No. Okay. You know, torches would have just been nice for, like, you know, breathing and stuff like that, so I'm gonna go collect this one over here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm instantly going to teleport back to our house. Or our new house, anyway. Uh, so, you know, we don't drown. That'd, that'd be nice if we don't drown. That'd be pretty cool. Look at our map. Look how many different, like, if you just look at the map in the top right corner, how many arrows there are coming off of it. Like, that's all the different waypoints we have in all different directions. That's pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. 
All right, let's start mining this baby. And there we go. All right, waypoint, new home, bam. And we're gonna start evolving. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I want to, uh, I want to sleep first, just because I want to evolve during the day, because I think the day looks, it looks nicer, you know? All right, let's sleep. We're gonna go sleep. We're gonna heal up our Pokemon. Uh, you know, one of the EVs took some damage, our Kinetic took some damage, so. Um, and they're all pretty much around about the same level, which is pretty cool. Uh, Kinetic, and where's our Thunderstone? Bam! Okay, there's evolution numero uno. And once we do these three evolutions, I'm gonna put in the second statue. And, uh, rename one of our Pokemon. How's that sound? I'm gonna do two and one. Two and one. Okay, so here's our Jolteon coming along. I love it when they evolve and they keep the same model. So they just stretch out, like, really big. Oh my god, that looks really cool. Damn, you gotta love that Jolteon. Alright, next. Oh, quick attack. Uh, get rid of Helping Hand, because I don't like that move. Uh, next, we're gonna get our Flareon out. We're gonna get that, uh, that, uh, Death, that Death Firestone. Bam! You gotta love the evolution. I hope they are uh, they bring out an update soon that makes the evolution like even more detailed or like the the model change like actually morphs into the next model instead of just like growing and then just like in a split second changing to the new model. Like, I don't know, I hope they can bring out more graphical kind of improvements, like they've been doing with a lot of the new Pokemon that have been coming out. Anyway, last one, Waterstone, BAM! Let's get ourselves a Vaporeon! And then we have, you have we have the trio, we have Jolteon, uh, we have Flareon, and we have Vaporeon. Now, what I don't understand is why they made it, like, I can understand, um, Vaporeon, you know, the water Pokemon, Flareon, the fire Pokemon. I don't know why they went Jolteon for an electric Pokemon, why would they not go Leafeon? I know Leafeon wasn't around in the first gen, but why would they not immediately go for like a Leaf type Eevee evolution instead of an Electric type? I don't know. That's kind of weird to me. You know, the three, the three generic kind of um, uh, natures, I guess, is Water, Fire, and Earth. You know, Earth being you know Leaf and the Grass type Pokemon. So like, why would you not? Why would you not? Anyway, um, so we have those three Pokemon. We might do some training on them today, but I did want to uh, rename. Now I'm going to be renaming a Grottle. Now I did ask, maybe we could rename the uh, the shiny Graveler. Didn't see any names that caught my eye. So if you guys want to rename a Pokemon, definitely leave a comment down below with your rename for any of the Pokemon that don't currently have a name, like a Flareon or our shiny Graveler, and uh, I'll pick whichever one I like the most. So now we're going to be renaming our Grottle, and now Grottle's going. Oh, what am I doing? Why am I throwing him out? Um, now, so we're, we're preparing this in terms of it becoming a Torterra soon. Actually, we should probably evolve the Grottle into Torterra. But, um, we're gonna be renaming it. Now, this is a really cool name. A couple of people kind of went down this route. Uh, someone, now, uh, unknown, unknown, unbeknownst to me, uh, Torterra is the, uh, the quote-unquote continent Pokemon. And then someone commented down the name, um, Oceana for it, because Oceana is, I live in Oceana, you know, technically I live in Australia, on the continent of Australia. Oceana is not a continent, but, you know, they, they, they kind of went down that route. I'm like, oh, that's alright. Oceana kind of sounds like a water Pokemon, though. You know, you got ocean in there. Oceana sounds like a water Pokemon. Um, so then I was like, ah, oh, you know, I'll see what else is going around. And then someone came up with the bright idea, Dean Shepard, in fact, came out with the bright idea of Pangea for, uh, for the the continent Pokemon. So I'm going to choose that. Now there's a couple ways. You can either do Pangea like that, or you can do it Pangea like that. Now I prefer that because it sounds, or it kind of just looks easier to pronounce. So we're going to go Pangea, and that's going to become a Torterra, the continent Pokemon. And if you guys don't know what Pangea is, uh, Pangea is what uh, all of the continents used to be called when they were like all one big continent. Uh, millions of years ago when the earth was like, you know, before like all the continents kind of like split off and floated away. Um, so if you're interested in like, history, like really, really, really long ago history, look up Pangea because it's pretty cool if you haven't learned that kind of stuff yet in school or whatnot. Um, so, we got Pangea, I'm gonna evolve you, and we are going to train up Flareon and Ariel. Um, so let's get into some training. Oh wait, and I want to do the one more statue. Yes, I'm gonna do it real quickly. I'm going to do it, and then we're gonna do the sign and stuff later, because I want to get to some training. How long- oh wait, yeah, the new way I'm recording, I still don't know how long I've been recording for. Which kind of sucks for me, um, but uh, you know, I'm sure we'll make do. I'm sure, you know, if it's too long, that'll be fine. If it's too short, that'll be fine. Whatever. Um, so shout out to our second statue, fan statue of the day, Dragon Hunter 
And it's 25. So the other guy was 45. This is 25. Dragon Hunter 25. Bam. Sculpt that shit. Do we have... Oh, we have a pallet on us already, so I'm going to do that to you. And we'll do the sign for you later, dude. But right now, we got to get to some training. Uh, and if you guys would like to become a statue in next episode, I generally pick two people. Sometimes I even pick three. Also, Rocky, Grenadier, and Sherlock. Have you, like, changed your usernames or changed your skins or something like that? Because all three of you at the same time became... And I, I was trying to fix it, and now... Oh, you know what? I may as well give you color. Um... <clears throat> Uh, all of your skins disappeared at once, and only you three, so, I don't know, I'm kind of confused as to why that happened. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna go and train. Ooh, ooh. Now I just figured out we can jump off that cliff into the water. I didn't even know that. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna try and get Pangea into a Torterra. Um, and then, you know, if we have time, we're gonna get Flareon and Ariel up a little bit. Because I think those are gonna be cool Pokemon to have, you know, a decently high level. Oh, and we should also train Graveler as well. Because we want, we want a really nice looking... Oh, we need a... Oh, I should probably look at the moveset for Graveler. Because we might not want to evolve him until he gets some better moves or something like that. Um, Flareon... Oh, no. Oh, not Flareon. Pharaoh, Rico, Meaty Shella, Hydro Pump, Bammy Dead. Nope. Uh, Hydro Pump, Bammy Dead. Let's also get uh, EXP share on you. Um... Uh, oh, Pidgeotto? Yes, Pidgeotto. What level are you? 20? Uh, you know what? Never mind. You know what? I I kind of, I, I, back, I back, you know, I don't like that, you know. Uh, we got a lot of mill tanks. We got Raticates. We got another Pharaoh. Oh, it's a boss Pharaoh! <gasps> yes, 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 yes! Bosses are good. Uh, 69. Okay, so it's the lowest level boss, but, you know, that's fine. We might still get something good. Don't think we'll get a Master Ball, but, uh, we might still get something good. We got, uh, Toxic. Alright, getting a new TM is not too bad. It's better than getting something that we don't need. You know, we could be using Toxic in the future, so, you know, that's actually not too bad. Um, what do we got down here? Thought I saw some sort of Pokemon. Arbok, there we go. Arbok, level 45. And Pangea is already up two levels, that's good. Uh, swap out to Rico. Rico's just gonna be like, hey man, Hydro Pump. Bam, you're dead. 31, alright. So, uh, let me just quickly go. Level Torterra. Evolve. Uh, 13. Uh, no, wait. 18 to Grottle 18. Fuck me. Come on. Sorry for the language, people. At level 32. 32? 32. Oh my god. We're one level away, guys. Oh, he's one of the early evolution things. Um, uh, what level are you, Ponyta? I can't really see. Can you kind of turn your head a little bit? God damn. Alright. Throw you out. You know, we're just going to do a little bit of a bubble beam. We're going to blow bubbles on him and he's dead. Bam. How's that sound? Uh, we got a Voltorb. We have another mill tank. A lot of mill tanks around. We should actually grind a few mill tanks because they'll give us uh, a lot of steak, which is good. It's good for uh, eating. Uh, we got a we got an electrode over here. You can tell it's an electrode because the colors are swapped, and it's a lot bigger. Um, Rico and Hydro Pump. Even though it's electric type Pokemon, it still work. Oh shit! No, it didn't work. Okay. Uh, Flame Burst. See, this is why we keep our Charizard on, because Charizard's still pretty strong. And he's dead. And we're screwed. And unless you can, like, do some sort of, like, miracle. I don't know. I don't know if, if uh, Electrode will be able to actually do any damage to you, because you're a Rock-type Pokemon. That's what seems to be happening. Smack down. Does that do any damage? It does. Smack down. Oh my god, this Gravel is about to gain a bunch of experience. Smack down. Yeah! Awesome. Okay, he didn't actually go up a level, but that was pretty cool. All right. Uh, uh, how much experience are you to evolve? Oh my god, you're so close. Uh, um, uh, all right. Let's just see if you can take on some Pokemon by yourself. So bite, bite, bite. There we go. Thirty-two. Yes, Leech Seed. Okay. Uh. I don't actually want Leech Seed. Awesome! We're getting ourselves a Torterra. Bump, 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 I need that Earthquake. When does Torterra get Earthquake? I think it's like level 40 or something. I don't know. Pretty sure it's like level 40. Or maybe it's immediately. Maybe it's right now. I don't know. It's either right now, or it's like level 40. I think level 40 is like Pillar Swine though, or Mammoth Swine, I mean. Yeah, no, you get Earthquake now! Awesome! Get rid of that Tackle shit. Okay, now let's see, did it did glitch out? Did it actually give us Earthquake? It did, awesome. Now we have Earthquake. Now we have a Torterra with Earthquake. Everyone better stand back, because we're pretty cool. Alright, uh, let's heal up. Oh, we don't have a healer here. Alright, let's go to our old house, because we can't sleep either. Let's go to our old house. We, we are going to have to make a healer soon. I definitely need to make a checklist. 
of all the different things we can do in Pixel One episodes, so I can get to actually doing things, you know? Um, alright, and these are all of our old statues. And these guys have all been moved to the new place. Yeah, Grenadia and like, yeah, all of the same people have all been kind of, I don't know why. Sherlock, Rocky, Grenadia, oh, there's another person over here. Who's this? Oh no, this is me! Oh, I think it's if you change your name. Ah, uh, if you change your name, your, your uh, skin goes away. So if you guys change your name, um, let me know. If you're one of the statues and you've changed your name, let me know so I can change it. And, uh, you know, and the skin will pop up and everything like that. Uh, I don't know if I'll change the sign itself, but I want to at least change the statue so it shows your normal skin. Um, how much, what time are we running on? I think we might be time to finish soon. Uh, let's get a new home. And, uh, oh, we'll put in the last statue, and I think that's everything. We did the new patron. By the way, if you guys would like to become an NPC, check out the patron page in the description down below. Uh, anyone who supports me with one dollar or more a month becomes an NPC in the series and will become an NPC in every series that I kind of do this sort of fan thing that I've got going on here. So at least be one series running on my channel where you'll be added as an NPC. And that should be forever. So, uh, yeah. Um, if you want to, uh, nickname one of our Pokemon, I've mentioned this before, just leave a comment down below with what Pokemon you'd like to nickname, and I'll choose which one I like the best. Um, and if you would like to just become a statue, like Dragon Hunter 25 did, and like, uh, Gamer Alex 45 did, and like Rhino Rampage 12 is about to do, hey oh, there it is, Rhino Rampage 12, congratulations sir, you are now, ooh, did I spell it wrong? Rhino Rampage 12. Uh, I might have to pick someone else. Unless I'm gonna, I'm gonna go onto my old episode right now, and we're gonna see. Okay, so we're gonna control F Rhino. Hey, hey, control F, control F. What are you doing? Okay, it's not letting me control F. So why are you not letting me control F? Okay, so I need to now just manually go look for Rhino Rampage. Now we have Rhino Ranger here. But where's Rhino Rampage? Oh, there he is, Rhino Rampage 12. Yeah, it's not working, dude. I spelt it exactly how you spelt it. Uh, so you know what? I'm gonna go for just I'm gonna go for a Rhino Ranger. We need some sort of Rhino going in. So Rhino Ranger, there we go. Sculpt that sh shiz. Congratulations, Rhino Ranger. You magically, luckily, became today's uh, statue because your name is very similar to the original guy I chose. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Pixamon. I'm going to be, I'm going to try and make these a lot more regular. Um, shout out, oh no wait, that's what we were doing. That's the one thing, the one setting I forgot on Tall Thang was to allow him to wander around because I don't want him just standing there. I want him to wander around and just be cool. Movement. Uh, wandering, done, bam. So now you can wander around. All right. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button down below. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment down below. If you want to rename one of our Pokemon and you want to become a statue, don't forget to go check out our Patreon, uh, my Patreon thing. Uh, it's a really, really big deal to me, actually. And I'm looking at moving out soon, so it would actually really help any of those Patreon people. Shout out to Tall Thang and uh, Ryan Romo for being our two patrons. And uh, I will see you guys on the next episode of Pixelmon Season 3. Bye!